If you are from a normal country, then this frame looks normal to you. But if you're from Iran, oh, you know what those are for. While in Israel, cranes are used to build new homes and buildings for families, in Iran, these cranes are used to hang anti-regime activists, protesters, LGTB, and journalists. Did I forget anyone? Growing up in Israel, I remember looking at these cranes as a kid and I got excited because I knew that they're building a new neighborhood, I would get to make new friends at school. In Israel, cranes symbolize progress. In Iran, cranes symbolize death. Iranian children, when they look at these cranes, they're traumatized because they know what they mean. They know the negative connotation that they're using those cranes to hang people, to hang their people. In wake of the recent protests in Iran, the regime sentenced several protesters to be hanged. Iranian people, whose only crime is protesting for freedom, are being sentenced to be hung in their beloved country. The very country they wanted to see free so badly. A recent example is Mohsen Shekari, a 23-year-old brilliant Iranian guy with a bright future ahead of him. He went to protest in the streets of Tehran and was arrested by the Islamic police. This week, before sunrise, while the world was sleeping both physically and metaphorically, the Islamic regime executed him by hanging him in public. I spoke with several Iranian friends of mine who are currently in Iran and they told me that the regime always hangs people in major squares and city centers so that the public, women and children included, will see how they are hanging their own people, those that oppose this dictatorship. They want to intimidate them. They want to sow fear among Iranian people because they know that the only way they can survive is not through joy and confidence, but fear. The family of Mohsen Shekari, who was executed this week, was required, just like many other Iranian families, to pay a fee for the crane that hung their son. This is how sick this regime is. Now, how do Iranians feel? Well, they feel like their country was taken hostage by radical Islamists. Iran used to be one of the richest and most successful countries in the Middle East. Everybody wanted to do business with Iran. Iran actually did business with Israel. Israel had an ambassador in Iran until 1973. Iran and Israel used to collaborate on defense and security. Today, that sounds like a fairy tale. But back then, it was the reality. Look where Israel is today and where the Islamic Republic is. Israel is using cranes to develop its country and people. The Islamic Republic is using cranes against its people. I want to use this video to spread the word about the situation in Iran. Because for Iranians, speaking truth and facts equals risking their lives. For us, it's just a matter of clicking share or not. So I urge you to share this video. Let's expose the truth about what the Islamic Republic is doing to its own people. Share this video.